Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, November 10th, 2016, and we're very excited to have with us in the studio Royal Canoe. Take it away, guys. Watching Audio Tree Live with Royal Canoe. Uh, you guys can roll into that next one whenever you feel ready. Right, nice. Yeah, no problem. Just because 
pressed your lips to mine I blush so bright that I glow, glow I make you swallow up a butterfly All I want is to catch it, can I catch it, can I? This that bed sheet billowing Pressed on like a pose pin I'll make you shudder like a camera When you see me lift the mountain like it's nothing, nothing <laughs> Watching Audio 2 Live with Royal Canoe. So I uh, like went down a YouTube rabbit hole the other day and was watching like crazy videos. And I, I was watching videos about interviews of, of certain um, artists. And one of them was talking, I think it was like Rob Zombie or someone crazy, was talking about how visuals to him mean almost as much as the music. And I noticed with your website, with your YouTube videos, everything you guys put out, it's very visual, and the visuals are very, very interesting and very cool and creative. And I'm wondering if you guys kind of have that same vibe, or is it like, do they mean as much to you as the music? I think so, yeah. yeah? We, we put a lot of time and, and energy into our videos. Um, we, uh, yeah, I think sometimes too much time and energy. It's such a, <laughs> sometimes it can be a real slog. But yeah, I think that we, we really wanna make sure that every single part of what we present feels like it's coming from us and mm -hmm. there's like a pure connection to you know, the inspiration behind the music as well. That's awesome. And do you think, like, even with your website, too, I saw that it's, like, so creative. There's, like, videos playing behind the whole time. Did you design that yourselves, or is that...? Uh, it was kind of a... There was this guy in Toronto that designed it, but we, we saw a couple websites that had done that and mm -hmm. uh, just thought, yeah, it's actually totally... We can't, we can't claim that one. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this band Plants and Animals that we toured with had a website that was very similar, and we really liked it, and mm -hmm. so we just took some of their ideas. And, but it fit with ours, like, we... we uh, really tried to have like a color palette that went with the yeah. songs that we we've written and uh we had even more stuff uh here like that made this all more consistent but uh yeah. all of our stuff got stolen a little while ago so this is all new stuff but yeah i was gonna ask about that a little bit later but we can talk we can touch on that now it was stolen like north of montreal you said yeah right? like we had our 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 whole trailer jacked like they oh, literally man. just like i don't know cut all the locks we had because we had like a pretty serious lock setup and they cut mm -hmm. that all and lifted up the trailer so we went out there in the morning and there was just like another car parked behind our van instead of our trailer man that's just been happening so much to so many bands it's such a bummer when that happens especially because some of those things i would imagine are, are not really yeah. replaceable right no totally like, not yeah now how did you guys continue like throughout that and get through that well oh man it was a crazy like three-day period we all got sick because it was like just so intense and oh, we man. we ended up like renting a bunch of gear we borrowed some gear from people there's like just everyone was coming in with generous you know mm -hmm. donations and it was it was like one of those moments where you you're you really consider like can we keep doing this tour are we going to mm -hmm. be able to keep going and then there was just such a rallying force around us that everyone was like made it happen really that's awesome well yeah. it's good to see that people kind of came together and you know made made it possible for you guys to do what you're still doing yeah so. totally and I mean, like actually this next song is um a song that we used to have a less midi controlled light system that we would play and yeah. sort of activate sounds mm -hmm. but um i guess because that got stolen we we can't really do it so we're going to try to do like a stripped down version of it okay cool yeah. well actually let's hear that if you guys want to roll into that whenever you're ready sure it's called walking on the water awesome Still 
got a ticket to play I won't be walking away I feel out the weight of the world I won't get another one, won't get another one, won't get another one, won't get Well I've been singing hallelujah Watching Audio Tree Live with Royal Canoe. So you guys are kind of like hockey fans, right? A little bit, some of you, maybe? Yeah? Oh, these guys love hockey. I'm yeah. the only guy in the band that knows nothing about hockey, but <laughs> every conversation is hockey. That's awesome. Well, not every conversation. <laughs> well, I would say, well, give a percentage. Like 95. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty high percent. That's a pretty, is it, and it's, it's the Winnipeg Jets, right? That's the team. See, I'm just, I'm just north of Detroit, so like, I'm also like kind of a, Decent fan in hockey, uh, the Red Wings, obviously. But um, is there any sports? Because I saw some photos online of you guys playing like table tennis, basketball, like some other stuff like that when you're on tour. Is there anything you guys do? Because you guys tour a lot. Is there anything you do, like sports-wise, competitive-wise, with each other? Not competitively. No. But generally, like if we're ever at a gas station, we generally pull out a frisbee and throw it around. Yeah. It's like the one. Like five minutes of exercise we get. You get it throughout day. the day. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Other than playing, right? Because you probably sweat a little bit on stage, yeah. I'd imagine. I'm, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So am I, I think. And I haven't even been moving. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so mostly just the frisbee and. Yeah, and like, um, you might not be. F- I talked to some Americans the other day about curling and they were curling. wondering about that. It's like a pretty Canadian sport. It's in the Olympics, okay. but I don't think it's very popular. But there's uh, like a music, Winnipeg musicians. Curling league, <laughs> really? That's insane. Uh, on Saturdays. So, what does the sport like consist of? I'm not too familiar. Uh, it's like you throw rocks. Yeah, it's like it's the most board. Canadian thing you've ever heard. <laughs> oh, okay. So you like throw rocks down 
a, a sheet of ice and you sweep it to try and curl it more. Oh, I know what you're saying. Now, yeah. I think I know. Uh-huh. I've seen that before. It's now. really Canadian because you're like politely asking the rock to go where you want it to go. Without <laughs> it to push. Although they yell really, really <laughs> <They do>. loud. <laughs> they, I think Will Ferrell came to our hometown for really? a curling match. Is that true? Did you guys remember Yeah, he that? was there for like the big Canadian like championship and he... He did a commentary as Ron Burgundy. That's great. Did he play at all? Like, did he did he get out there? I don't think so. Okay. okay, I think it's just such a. It's like Will Ferrell wanted to ironically embrace curling, but it is a pretty (laughs) cool sport. Yeah. Now, now that you're speaking of it, I do know. I've seen like a lot of videos on YouTube of people because, like, being like right across the border from Canada, I grew up like with some hints of the Canadian things, like like the accent. And some people like say that I talk slightly like that as well. But yeah, you know, it's it's kind of a cool thing, like how the cultural differences from just across the border, like a mile or two away, how you could not even know of a sport like that or things that are happening. So it's pretty oh, interesting. Yeah. It's definitely profound. Yeah. As much as we're so close to each other, and I mean, like, 90% of Canadians live within like an hour of the border or something, mm-hmm. there are these differences. Yeah. You know? And I and I like the I like the differences. I feel like the cultures uh, fit together really well, actually. Yeah, I, I I agree completely. Well, we can touch more on that in a little bit. So you guys can run on that next song whenever you're ready. It's called I'm Collapsing So Slowly.
You'll never see me falling I am collapsing so slowly You'll never see me falling Audio Tree Live with Royal Canoe. We're talking earlier a little bit about Canada and uh, the differences between here and there. I was wondering, because I, I have some friends over there that tour a lot, and they come to the States, and sometimes they say it's it's can be very difficult. What's it like getting your visa, or like what's it like kind of crossing the border? Do you guys have any troubles ever? Or? I mean, we have, but uh, for the most part, to be honest, it's been pretty, it's been pretty good going yeah. back and forth. Yeah, we've been, um, we, we have gone through some visa troubles where we applied for one and then didn't get it in time and had to cancel a tour. So oh, that, that's that, was, a that was a bummer for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at this point, I mean, it's, we've kind of got it down to a bit more of a science. But, I mean, that said, like, it's pretty restrictive in terms of, like, costs and stuff. For, yeah. like, smaller bands to get into the U.S., or, like, any band, really, there's mm -hmm. just, like, a pretty high yeah. price point before you can even cross the border, whereas for Americans coming <coughs> into Canada, I think pretty much all you need is, like, a letter from the venue saying that yeah, it's you're playing simple. a show. So we, we tr you know, Canada tried for, like, about, it lasted about three months. They were like, no, we're going to be like the Americans and be restrictive, and it lasted, like, three months. And like, it's just <laughs> a big outcry, and then yeah. they're like, no, that's done. Because yeah, a lot of tours probably didn't come through. People were kind of yeah. skipping at that point. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing I think about, too, is, like, how many Canadian bands we're missing out on just because it's kind of difficult for them. But... What, you yeah. that? Well, right. and like the thing is, I don't understand why, because all we do is come here and spend money and like stimulate the economy because yeah, yeah, people exactly. are buying tickets, buying drinks, buying whatever, and we're buying gas, buying hotels. Exactly. Like it would just bring more money into the States. So I don't get it. Yeah, that's it. It is kind of a confusing thing. I know there's a petition out right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I know a lot of my friends are signing. I've signed it as well just to try to get those uh, restrictions light to lighten up a little bit. But I wanted to ask also, isn't there a, a, a type of thing the Canadian government does to help support in another way too? Don't they like grants or something? Yeah, like there's, that? I mean, a bunch of different sort of like uh, funding bodies, that, not just music, but visual arts and dance okay. and film and all sorts of stuff. So things to help kind of stimulate the Canadian arts economy. Yeah. And I mean, they've done tons of studies and show that the money they're putting in is coming back tenfold uh, really? into the economy with people like going yeah. out to shows and going out to theater and stuff like that. And so it's been a really positive thing and it's, been very positive for us and for, yeah, afforded for us a artists. lot of opportunities to yeah. sort of oh yeah and every time we tell our yeah. friends they're just like like from america from america yeah. they're like what yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of wait the government gives you money they yeah. encourage you to, do to, it. to participate in the arts and and, yeah. and like follow your dreams and it's mm -hmm. yeah there's this great support network i mean part of it honestly has to do also with the fact that in canada if we don't subsidize our culture mm -hmm. we just kind of get consumed by the American yeah, that 380 is very true million well. dollar cultural behemoth. And so yes. <laughs> 380 million person cultural behemoth. And mm -hmm. so we have to, like we're a tenth of that, you know, we're like yeah. 35 million or something. And so mm -hmm. we kind of have to try extra hard to try to get heard because it's just, there's yeah. such a loud roar coming from like, you know, 50 mm -hmm. miles south of us. Well, I'm glad we're hearing you guys now and we've got a lot to learn from uh, the Canadian <laughs> the Canadian government there in that aspect. So <laughs> if you guys want to roll into that next one whenever sure. you're ready. <laughs> Wasn't 
out and about Someone had someone figured you out Oh, you got another side to yourself Oh, you got another side to yourself Take you off, make your pitch to the moon But the colors all that you took Oh, you thought you never hide from yourself Oh, you thought you never hide Live with Royal Canoe. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Thank it you for having us. It was a lot of fun. Great. It sounded great. Um, they're going to be on tour for a few more days, so make sure you go check them out. Also, you can pick up their new record, Something Got Lost Between Here and the Orbit, so make sure you pick that up. And I also wanted to thank the lighting and camera crew, everyone here at Audio Tree that helps make this happen, uh, the engineers and everyone backstage. And I also want to let you guys know if you want to help support us and the band, you can help by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see you all very soon.